everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Canada Day tutorial for you guys. If you didn't know, I'm Canadian and I'm super proud to be Canadian and Canada Day is on July 1st so I thought I'd do a little glitter Canada flag liner for you and I also have a Canadian little cupcake here which is so cute so shout out to Cakeology in the Exchange in Winnipeg. Let's get into this glitter liner tutorial. Boom. All right, I am sorry, I'm not doing my hair for this video. Uh, just, it's just, just not happening today, okay? I am using glitter, so I'm obviously going to start with the eyes first. I have already done my brow. Products will be down below. And I've primed my eye with a mixture of the Urban Decay Free Base and NYX HD Shadow Primer. Isn't this, like, so cute? I'm going to clean up the edge and all the glitter that's down here after we've completed the whole eye. To fill in the center of the eye, I'm going to take some of the Kat Von D. This is an ink liner in the shade Neruda, just a white tip felt liner. And with this, I'm actually going to draw the shape of the wing I want. Actually, I lied. I'm just going to do that because I realized I didn't do this on the other side. Then I'm just going to take, you can use a boned shade or a white shade. I'm just using this from the Stila in the No palette. I'm just gonna pack that on there a wee bit. Now on this eye, I did the little maple leaf first, but I'm afraid I'm not gonna get it even if I try to do that. I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Nosferatu. And I'm gonna be working with a teeny tiny little brush. This is actually a Sigma special effects brush. So I'll pray for this. I'm just going to draw this on now. And then, picking up a little bit more on my brush, I'm going to finish the wing. This part's pretty basic. I mean, if you know the anatomy of the Canadian flag, this is pretty uh, self-explanatory. All right, now comes the little maple leaf in the center, which is pretty like abstract. Actually, it's actually reading pretty well on camera. Hi, baby. Look at who is here to say hello. It is a baby. She loves, all both my cats love being in this area when I film because it's so warm. They just, they love it. Happy Canada Day, baby. And I took this tiny little nail brush, and sorry, my hands, just excuse them, I've just, you know, been working. I actually took this and I trimmed it so it is super, super fine. And I also made one side of it go on an angle, so if I wanted to make a really thin line, I can. So with a cat on my arm here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the maple leaf in. Oh, maybe I'm not. Oh, oh. Get your butt over my face. Okay, so are you just gonna... Okay, I'm gonna start with the stem and then draw the leaves. And I am gonna be covering this with glitter, so I'm not gonna make it too perfect and too precise. You guys, she's so happy right now. So, okay, just hold this tail down. I'm gonna draw one line straight up and down. Looks like a maple leaf to me. Yeah, it doesn't look like a maple leaf, my baby. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> That's about the same size. The glitter is also gonna probably make it seem a little bit bigger too and I think they'll balance out. So what I'm going to be using for the glitter is the NYX Glitter Glue. I'm gonna be placing this everywhere I place that liquid lipstick and I'm gonna be using the NYX Glitter in the shade Red. I'm just going to be using this nail art brush. Um, you can get these on like Amazon or eBay. It's just a flat brush. Okay. 
The lashes I'm going to be applying are by Velour Lash, and I will have the style of these listed in the description box below. These are beautiful. Perfect for Canada Day. Ow. So, happy Canada Day. All right, sorry. I'm also going to be applying some of the shock mascara. I know I've used this in a million videos, but it's my favorite, and I'm going to use it till the tube is out. Oh my god, I love it. I love it so far. I don't even have the rest of my face on. Ooh. Okay, so now I am just going to clean up all of the glitter fallout. I even have it on my forehead. I mean, it's really everywhere. For primer, I'm going to be using the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. This has SPF in it because it's Canada Day and we're going to be outside. So we need to put some of this SPF on. Oh, I love the way this stuff feels. Beautiful. For my foundation, I'm going to be using Old Faithful, my Total Control Drop Foundation by NYX Cosmetics. And I call her Old Faithful because I can always rely on her for coverage. Typically when I wear this foundation, I don't bother with concealer underneath my eyes because I usually wear shadow under there, but I'm not gonna be putting on any shadow for this look, so I am gonna be using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I am in the shade Very Fair, but as you can see, it's quite still yellow toned. I used this Ofra Loose Translucent Setting Powder in the shade Light in my last tutorial, and I adored it, so I'm gonna use it again. To add a bit of color to my face, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Sculpting Kit once more. For blush, I'm going to be using one by Saint Cosmetics, and this is called Love Me Gently Blush, and this was made in Canada. Woo woo, Canadian! It's just really soft hue and I just really want the focus to be on the eyes but I, I can't live without blush. And for a highlight I'm going to be using the NYX Cosmetics Dual Chromatic Highlighter in the shade Snow Rose which is 04. I am spraying my brush with a little bit of dewy spray as well from NYX. That was the pop I wanted on my skin. Oh yeah. Ooh yeah. I'm also gonna pop a wee bit of this in my inner tear duct as my highlight. Oh god, yeah. Oh, pop that glitter out. Oh yeah. And what the hell? I'll place a little bit under my brow as well. Just for something to look at. Now I wanted to do bottom, my bottom lashes red, which I think I might, but first I'm gonna load up the mascara just to build up the volume of them. So when and if I do make them red, it's gonna be like red. And as that dries, I'm going to move on to my lips and I am going to be putting on kitten heels from NYX Cosmetics. That's a bit too orange tone for me um, in comparison to the glitter. So I am going to add a little bit of that Kat Von D one right on top just to deepen it a wee bit. And a final touch on my eyes. I need to put a little something in my waterline just to brighten and waken my eyes. The NYX Retractable Eyeliner in white. If you want to know what my favorite white liner for the waterline is, it is this one. It is so amazing, so creamy, so pigmented, and it's waterproof. So, and as always, clean it up with a Q-tip first. Ah. Like, look at that. That was one swipe. This thing is uh, uh, gold. Can you believe it? 
You know what? I might not do anything to my bottom lashes. One thing about makeup is you need to learn how to edit and I think for me, I'm just gonna leave it at it as is. I was gonna make them red, but I'm really liking this, how it looks right now, so I think I'm just going to leave it. And that is my tutorial, wait. I, I got a cupcake, hold on, hold on. Candidate cupcakes, isn't that so cute? So, all right guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial with my little Canadian flag and my little chicken scratch friggin' maple leaf. I actually cut out a, a tiny little stencil. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see it, a stencil because I was going to try and like stamp the maple leaf on my eye, but then I thought I may as well just free style. I hope you all have an amazing Canada Day. I'm going to be at home with my entire family because it's my grandma's 90th birthday on July 1st, and I'm gonna be making the coolest cake ever. So make sure you follow me on Instagram if you want to see photos of that and I'll probably like Instagram story like the process of me making it. So you can check it out there and until next time, well I guess I'll see you later. Alright, bye. Wow, I actually impressed myself with this. It looks like a Canadian flag.